what's going on guys welcome to another video um so this video is actually an addition to the app script video i did uh, recently and of course this is actually a comment by nora and of course the just to recap uh, comment by nora basically the question is um, how do we delete files from google drive from app sheet so we did the app script method so for today's video we'll be doing the um, app sheet method and this is the answer that you seek nora so sinto meto pelo problema uh, sorry for the trouble this is the answer that you seek so please refer to this video and to for the rest this is something that perhaps could be useful for you as well so without further ado let's go all right guys so this is based on yesterday's video where i did the app script um, tutorial on how to delete files directly from google drive so for today's um, tutorial would be from app sheets perspective now there is a correction on my statement there is a native feature from AppSheet that enables you to connect your Google Drive so this is actually a thanks to Sergio Molinari thank you Mr. Sergio for pointing it out and yes of course I have overlooked that matter so nevertheless moving on how to do that in AppSheet is quite simple, fairly simple, very simple. So let's just say I have my files here in Google Drive, same same location, which is files. And now in AppSheet, you have to go to data and you will see add new data. So this is where you add new table but in this case i want to select the google drive documents all right so when i whenever i select here it will prompt you few choices and of course for my case i'm going for collection of files so it says here connect to files within a google folder AppSheet will provide a table with the folder contents and file metadata to use within your application which means it will take the whole lot of the files or your within the same folder so i'm going to select collection of files so i'm going straight to the directory which is in app drive files this is the location of my file you can select any location that you like so here's mine so i'll just select and of course create table there is however an another thing that you may want to do which is go to your table settings here and make sure you allow updates and deletes or deletes is fine um you can just leave it to deletes or add updates whichever is fine so done and save the file save the app sorry now in files 2 let me just rename this to g drive so it's easier to find if i were to make it in table then you will see these the files that I have in my Google Drive. All right. So the question by Nora, which is, how do I delete it? So since we have enabled the delete permission, so whenever I delete all of these files, let's say I delete it from App Sheet. Yes. It will eventually delete the files in my google drive so just bear in mind these files will remain in your trash for 30 days before permanent deletion and that's all to it
all right guys so i hope you enjoyed the video and of course more videos to come for app sheet app script uh, and sheets perhaps and of course do let me know what else you like to see in the comment section down below and as for that i end my video with my thanks to all for your support don't forget to take your time to click on the subscribe button if you haven't and don't forget to like the video if you find it useful so until the next time take care bye bye